miungano mipya ikijitokeza. Mm. Sasa swali ambalo ningependa tuanze nalo Super Senator Sakaja. Hii miungano ya kisiasa yeah. huwa ni ya kibinafsi ya kuwasaidia watu binafsi kupata uongozi ama hii miungano ya kisiasa huwa ni ya nini? Is it just to, uh, convenient at a certain moments ama husaidia kweli? Mara nyingi eh, miungano ni convenient. Mm ni mambo ya siasa ya ubinafsi. Yeah. Mara nyingi miungano ni unaweza kupiga hesabu. Yeah. So mimi niko na watu kumi, au oh, kuna ishirini, tukuje pamoja. Na ifai kwa hivyo, haipasi kwa hivyo. Kwa sababu kama saa hizi tuko na vyama nafikiri tisini katika taifa letu, 90 political parties. Kweli tuko na 90 ideologies tofauti. Filosofia tofauti. Tisini hatuna. Ni watu wa muda vyama vidogo vidogo, vyama vya kikabila, vyama vya kinyumbani. Hapo nasema sasa mimi naleta eh, wakamba, mimi naleta waluya, mimi naleta <laughs> wajaluo mm-hmm. ili tushikane. Na nafikiri ni jambo ambalo lazima ibadilike. Kwa, kwa sasa naona miungano mengi ni miungano ya kikabila ama ni miungano tu ya, ya, ya kupata nafasi ya, ya, ya uongozi. Mm-hmm. Lakini pia tukiziangalia kwa sababu eh, kwa sasa tuko na miungano mitatu eh, kubwa. Mm-hmm. Tuko na Azimio la Umoja, mm-hmm. tuko na Kenya Kwanza mm-hmm. na tuko na One Kenya Alliance mm-hmm. ambapo tulikuwa One Kenya Alliance. Mm-hmm tukakosa ku, 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 kuelewana. Mm. Kuangalia azimio la umoja na Kenya Kwanza haswa tukianzia eh, tuki, tukiangalia eh, hizo mirango miwili mm. unaona tofauti ya eh, kuja pamoja. Kwa sababu nafikiri as we develop our democracy tunaanza kukua na ideology pole pole haijafika hapo bado mm. kwa sababu hivyo eh, mirengo um, kuna vyama vya kinyumbani vimekuja pamoja lakini sasa kuna idea tofauti. Mm-hmm. Idea ni hii. Kuna mrengo mmoja na kuna idea mbaya ni wakenya watague. Ni wakenya watachagua. Lakini kuna idea moja ambayo watu wanasema ya kuwa jambo la muhimu sana katika taifa letu ni kuungana. Ni hiyo umoja. Na huu umoja utapatikana tukileta viongozi wa aina watano pamoja. Mm-hmm. Tulete kiongozi wa Jubilee Uhuru Kenyatta, tumlete Raila Odinga tumlete sijui wengine ambao wako hapo wakikaa pamoja wakielewana kutakuwa na umoja katika taifa letu. Alafu kuna mlengo mwingine ambao unaitwa Kenya Kwanza. Kenya Kwanza inasema ndio umoja ni muhimu lakini hawezi pata umoja kama kuna usawa wa nafasi ya kiuchumi. So hiyo inaangazia sana sana mambo ya uchumi. William Ruto amekuwa anazungumza mambo ya bottom up eh mfanye biashara mdogo sijui kinyozi boda boda mama mboga inaitwa microeconomics mm-hmm. msalia mdavadi amekuwa anazungumza juu ya macroeconomics deni ambayo tuko nayo mambo ya taxation mm-hmm. mambo ya government spending wakija pamoja macroeconomy na microeconomy mm-hmm. hawa nasema tukiwa na usawa wa nafasi kutakuwa na umoja kwa sababu hata wakati tumekuwa na vita kama 2007 au kusikia vita Karen au kusikia vita Lavington vita vilikuwa katika vitongo ndune mm-hmm. kwa sababu it is, an, it is an economic problem mm-hmm. uhuru na ruto wakashikana viongozi wao wakashikana kama vile azimio lile la viongozi wachache pamoja kulikuwa na amani baadaye kweli bado watu wamekuwa na maridhiano kulikuwa na reconciliation hapana kama leo mimi najua mtoto wangu ambaye amezaliwa kule na nyuki ama amezaliwa kisumu ako na the same opportunity ama the same chance na mtoto amezaliwa nyeri ama mtoto amezaliwa nairobi Mimi sitakuwa na shida na mtu. Hata sitajali na atakuwa rais. Mm. Kama unajua ukizaliwa tayari tataveta you the same chance at life. Uko na usawa wa nafasi, equality of opportunities kutakuwa na cohesion. Mm. So for once umeona kuna tofauti ya ideology. Unajua ni kiongozi mgani wanaamini. Tayari wanajua ni mrengo gani ambao inaongea lugha yao. Lugha ya mwananchi wa kawaida, ule ambaye sasa hizi vile umesema mtoto wake anafanya eh, class 8, mm. alafu anaenda form form 1 hivi mm. eh, karibuni hana pesa. Mm. Eh? mapato yameenda chini bei ya bidhaa zimepanda mafuta imepanda mkate sukari nani anaongea lugha yake so mkenya ataamua so mimi sema yetu kuna mrengo mbaya in fact it is the beauty of our democracy na tunaweza kuamua na wakenya by the way watafanya uamuzi kama jana nimekuwa kanisa south b kule marekani mm-hmm. nikiwa kanisa nimekuwa na mca za ambao wanasimama kutoka odm nimekuwa na beno mundi ambaye anasimama katika odm nimekuwa na watu wa nc vya matofauti na hata huko tunaambia lugha nairobi hatujui kabila Hakuna kabila tofauti, hakuna mambo ya chama tofauti. Kabila ni mbili tajiri na maskini. Hakuna potholi ya mkamba na ukosefu wa maji ya waluya. Hakuna njaa ya wakikuyu na traffic ya wajaluo. Our problems are the same. 
Lakini tuangalie ni kiongozi mgani binafsi ukimuona mm. au kwa mlengo upi mm. anasimamia yale ambao una, una, una mimi. So that is what is happening. Mm. Eh wa, wananchi wasidanganywe. Na tulisema jana tuliwaambia vizuri kinaka ubaga. No. Sisi Nairobi this time kwa sababu Nairobi tu, sisi ndio husikia uchungu kat, eh, wakati wa vita. No. We know the pain of violence mm-hmm. na pia tunajua utamu wa amani na watu kwa pamoja. Tunasema this time vijana wetu hawatatumika. Kiongozi akija kuzungumza pale msikize. Kama uelewani na yeye nyamaza ama uende usimzome. The same ukisikia radio na radio una, unapata wimbo ni nini mbaya hauipendi au ivunji radio una badilisha station mm. uneka radio citizen mm. au vunji radio mm. so what is what we saying tuwe tuna peaceful campaign tuwe na tolerance tusikizane mm. mirengo haya mirengo isiwachanganyishe unless unaangalia issues ya Kenya kwanza ni hii na yazimio ni hii but at the end of the day yani ni wale wale <laughs> the promises will be the same mm. angalia ni kiongozi yupi ambaye unamwamini as an individual kidogo ki, ki ya uruto hii ulikuwa ndani eh. sasa uko huko kwingine lakini kabla uende hapo manake umezungumzia swala ambalo ni muhimu sana uh-huh. uchaguzi wa amani wewe uh-huh. ni kiongozi na ukweli usemwe uh-huh. kwamba sisi umesema wananchi kuja kwa mkutano usikize ukiona upendi sera zangu weenda uh-huh. lakini nyinyi hamna sera na kuja pale nasema sakaja kwende mjinga sakaja kwende 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 hayo ndo mambo ambayo mnatamka na wakenya wanashabikia nyinyi mtatuletea agenda isiwe kwamba ukuja kwa mkutano ati mimi nikikuja hapa tu melody 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 atea 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 melody 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 unajua shida sana sana pia ni wanahabari kwa sababu tena yale ambayo mnaangazia kwa mikutano ambayo ita, itagonga eh, habari mm. ni hiyo tu atea kwende atea bure merudi bure lakini unapata kuna content nyingi sana mimi nikizungumza sasa hizi ukisema tu siasa safi wakenya wanajua unazungumza juu ya nani mimi nimekuwa nazungumza mambo ya siasa safi nikiwa sasa nita nimetembea nikifanya mkutano wangu nawaambia ona 30% procurement amount ileta ya vijana kina mama na wale ambao wanaishi na, ule, wa, na ulemavu imepitishwa lazima itekelezwe nazungumza hiyo ai au mtasikia kwa radio Nimezungumza mambo ya National Employment Authority ambayo nileta. Hamna zungumza hiyo. Yeah. Nimezungumza mambo ya watu madereva wa Uber ambao wananyanyaswa. Yeah. Ambao commission iko juu sana na sasa regulations zinaenda kupitishwa. Hautaisikia kwa news ya Radio Citizen. Nimezungumza mambo ya wafanyikazi wa nyama kima. Wafanyikazi wale traders ambao wanafinywa kila siku yeah. na mambo ya suji counterfeit. Watu wa mkuru ambao wanafurushwa. I promise you ukizungumza hiyo haitakuwa kwa news. Haitakuwa kwa radio. Lazima nike kwa Twitter yangu na Facebook yangu. Yale mambo ambayo tunaangazia lakini nyinyi mnajua mnataka entertainment. Mnataka kuona nani amekuja ame, ame katukana mwingine, mm. amesema ati, ati Kenya kuisha, mwingine amesema azimiwe inazimia, hiyo ndio news. Let us give Kenyans good content. Kwa sababu kuna content nyingi ambao mtu anaweza sema mimi kwa muda ambao nimekuwa senator, nimeleta miswada nane. Niambie senator mwingine amefanya hiyo. Hiyo it will not be covered. So wale viongozi ambao wako na maono, wale viongozi ambao wako na content, mm. una, unapata mara nyingi hawako popular. Lakini wale wa vipindi re, mm. eh, ile kipindi imekuja mziki, imechezo, anajua ku dance, mm. wale wasana wanadondosa, huo mm. ati atachaguliwa. You know, tume, we have cheapened our politics in this country. Mm. So content equal. Mm. Mimi, mimi, in fact, kuna scorecard mood, ebena ile scorecard they mefanya, including the, my last legislation, the national school lunch. Watoto hito wawo mbao wanafanya mtihani wengi wawo, especially in the urban areas. Mujo, juzi nilienda, actually last year nilienda um, shule kule dinio, eh, gatina, primary. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Na mbelifika huko nilikuwa napelekea desks madawati. Juma dawati zilikuwa zime vandalizwa wakati wa covid. Watoto of course wakachangamka, "Eh hey, super senator, super senator umekuja." Of course nikaongea nao, "Au unajua ile kimzao nasema mnataka na upatie nini? Utasikia watu wengine wanasema tupatie sweeti ama tunulie school bus ama sijui mpira ya kucheza." Walisema tunataka lunch. Imagine. Kuwa hatupati lunch. Nyumbani hakuna chakula, shuleni hakuna chakula. Kama mzazi nilisikia uchungu sana. Na tukashikana na mimi sijawahi kuwa na siasa ya kuonyesha watu na sijaongea about individual because small people discuss people big minds discuss ideas mimi huzungumza juu ya ideas this is what you can do for Nairobi this is what you can do for our country na hivyo ndo mnafahamu tusaje especially wakati huu unajua hii temperature inaanza kupanda mm-hmm. na watu wako njaa mm-hmm. then wale nimeingia hapo nimeona vijana wamekuja wamefurika wako wengi wengi wao hata kusikia kitu wanasema tu tuachie macho mm-hmm. eh kitungui nuke kwa nyumba leo mm-hmm. kijana kama huwa ameharibiwa na wale wanasiasa ambao tu kazi yao ni kupeana pesa mm-hmm. so who will you vote for kama tu the only thing unaona ni mambo ya pesa. So hata kwa hii mirengo let's ask questions. Nimefurahi media council mmesema kutakuwa na presidential debate. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Mm. No mtu tuweze ku, kuangalia kwa piga msasa tujue our presidential candidates what is the content they offer. Nini mpya hawajafanya kwa miaka sijui msili wamekuwa kwa uongozi ama mm. watakufanya leo. Mimi nataka tuwe na gubernatorial debate. Ili nikae na wale wengine watakuwa governor wa mm. Nairobi. Yes. Mimi niseme mimi nimefanya hivi na hivi. Hii ndio track record yangu na hivi ni watakufanya. Wewe unataka kufanya nini? Unless we do that 
Dush, mara nyingi unapata na nilifurahi vile msali mdada mdada alisema tunachagua alafu ndo tunainterrogate lazima tu interrogate ndio tuchague kabla ndio ujue huyu MCA anasimama kwanza amekuwa wapi je muona huyu mm-hmm. MCA ametoka wapi what is his philosophy anaamini nini huyu mm-hmm. mbunge vile amekuwa na CDF amefanya nini ama huyu mgombeaji amefanya nini hata akiwa kwa private sector ndio unasema mtu ambaye ametoka kule nje ako na advantage unapata mtu amepora pesa kwa private sector mm-hmm. afa anakuja kwa public sector you know so let us be able to interrogate nyinyi ndio mnafaa mtusaidie na hiyo mambo sio sisi mm-hmm. we have a lot of content hiyo tafanya mm-hmm. ningekoma tu tiene jibili ndio hii sasa eh. mikono Najua. inaenda unajua unajua lazima you come of age kwa siasa eh. mimi nilikuwa founding chairman wa tiene mm-hmm. na wakati huo tulifanya kazi vizuri sana na rais wa Kenya ambaye nampenda na namheshimu mm-hmm. uh, is my political father mm-hmm. na utawai sikia nikimtukana hata siku moja mm-hmm. um tuliona tiene nilikuwa miaka 26 hivi 26 27 mm-hmm. nikawa imagine mtu ambaye kuna miaka 50 anamwamini 26 year old kuongoza chama i came up with the slogan i believe tukafanya campaign watu hawajao na Kenya hii eh, vijana it was youthful to launch 20th of may 2012 watu walikuwa hawajaona kitu kama hiyo tukaunda serikali tukakuja pamoja na URP wakati tena wakuunda jubilee party i was in charge of strategy wakati huo mambo slo, slogan logo hiyo mkono kushikana kusema tuko pamoja hiyo ndio ilikuwa kazi yangu mimi nilifanya hiyo in fact wakuliza mbunge yote ambaye alikuwa in the other the last parliament mbunge wa jubilee ama governor ama speaker of county assembly ama leader majority tukiwa state house watu watano walizungumza no wawekesa alizungumza unga no wawekesa no wawekesa na kileto walikuwa coaches no wawekesa kazungumza akasema why we must merge in the ama i think 12 kisha kamwalika kileto mrungi ambaye akazungumza akasema mbona mbasi yake amezima na wanaingia na umemu wake akanielika mimi nieleze sasa wabunge why and how it looks kuambia tunasema tuko pamoja kulialala tuihamwe wajaluo wanasema wan kanyakla wan kanyachil wa somali wanasema waislajirna wakizi wanasema ngamotore ama tore so i did it in all the languages of the country kusema that is what we want to do hiyo ndio ilikuwa azimio letu hivyo hivyo kadi za watu kuleta vyama vyote pamoja watu wao na nafasi lakini kwa bahati mbaya baada ya hiyo yale eh, how do i put it ile hope ile vision tulikuwa nayo ya chama kwa institution kwa sababu Kenya shida yetu ni vyama ni personalized unajua mm. chama eh, party leader position ya party leader ndio ndio party position hawezi uliza swali mm-hmm. yetu tulikuwa tumesema tunatengeneza institution ambapo kwanza itakuwa na mikutano watu watakuwa na kutana tutakuwa na ile nilikuwa nimeita governors council ambapo tunafanya task scope ya governors wetu wa jubilee tunasema mmefika wapi how you implement the manifesto wabunge tuna parliamentary agenda ambapo wabunge wanapatiwa unajua hata talking notes wanaambiwa kuna hii miswada mm. it didn't happen na chama ikakuwa personalized ilikuwa tu kama ni mkutano ni kufukuza watu ama kuadhibu watu mm. so that dream got lost but i strongly believe Kenya bado inahitaji vyama ambavyo ni strong institutions mm. otherwise ule ambaye atakuwa rais ni ule ambaye kona hela mm. ule ambaye atakuwa rais ni ule ambaye ametoka eh, kwa kabila kubwa but we institutions as political parties hata mwelmolo ambaye anakuja anakuwa mkiongozi wa hiyo chama anaweza kuwa rais kama Tanzania. Mm. Tanzania mtu yote ambaye ana lead CC au Matadema anaweza kuwa rais. Emanisha lazima uwe kabila ya makabila lile. So that was a promise, that was a dream. Ubaya ikuwezekana. Mimi nikaenda nikatafuta kiburi kidogo mm. kwa msale wa Mdavadi. Mm-hmm. Siku toka Jubilee nilisema yeye kwa sababu Jubilee ilikuwa ina candidate nikasema yule ambaye naona anaweza kuwa rais mzuri bora mm. ni msale wa Mdavadi ile ayo eh, presidential candidate hata kama ni Jubilee shikane na chama chake lakini party leader wetu pia alikuwa na idea tofauti mm-hmm. ya Raila Odinga ambaye pia ni baba yangu na rafiki yangu mimi huzungumza nao wote. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu basi on principle then uh, atuko pamoja because mimi naona kitu ambayo ni muhimu na priority kwa sasa ni kiongozi ambaye anaaminika kwa na nguvu ya kuangalia mambo ya uchumi. Pesa mfukoni kazi ni kazi. Mm-hmm. So that is why tume tumetafautiana in terms of ideology and the direction. Lakini hao wanaamini umoja ni ah, tu, wachache wakija pamoja wakae it is okay it is democracy mm-hmm. leo nikikutana na rais huru kenyata tuzungumza ujumbe na mtumia kama ni raila odinga namtumia kumbuka hata kabla ya handshake unakumbuka wakati babu wino alikuwa ameko ndani mm-hmm. kulikuwa na handshake hapana si mimi ndo nilimtoa kule mm-hmm. wakati eh, olocha alikuwa napigwa during the election alishambuliwa october 26 
Mimi leo nikamshika nikaba watu kutaka kumgusa mlipitia na not only believe. Because I believe we must talk across political party. Hata wa sasa kama kuna kuna shida pale fulani na ni watu wa mrengo huu mtakuwa hapo. Na Robert tunasema vyama ni vingi but governor ni mjamo. Kanairo governor ni mjamo. Ina maana governor ni mmoja. Because we must have politics ambayo ina, ina transcend kabila, ina transcend chama it's about issues. So ndio, hiyo ndio ilikuwa safari yangu. Mm. Ni uchungu sana kwangu. It's very painful mm-hmm. because for me to believe like my baby. Mimi naona kama ni my baby. I had I had hopes. Nilifikiria dask moja labda nitasimama urais na chama cha Jubili. Huko mm-hmm. mbele. Mm-hmm. Unajua? Mm-hmm. But Proverbs 16 anasema man man may plan but the final outcome ni ya Mungu. Mwenyezi Mungu um, kwa sababu lazima ufanye hiyo rasmi. Mm-hmm. Hawa kija wataniambia basi wewe simama kwa UDA ama kwa ANC ama Kenya kwanza itakupatia tikiti. Lakini I am waiting for their guidance. Hawa kama wakubwa wangu. Mm-hmm. Because unajua for you to lead you must learn to follow. For you to lead one day lazima wewe unajua kufuata. Mm-hmm. Mimi nimefuata uhuru Kenya hata na nimwambia contract yangu na yako tuko pamoja hadi 2022. Ikimalizika I cannot wait. Amalize kwa rais. I miss my friend. Amalize kwa rais tuko tunakaa ndio tuko tunakaa. Mm. Eh, mali mliko mnakaa. Bila tuko tunakaa, mali tuko tunakaa. Bila vitu vyenu. Eh, kama eh. rafiki yangu eh. because politics is not an enemy. Mm. Tunaweza tofautiana na sera na chama but this country needs a level of siasa safi. Ile ambayo tunasema siasa safi. Mm-hmm. Na hiyo ni itakuwa. Na uchaguzi unakuwa moto. Kuna watu nimeona wamejitokeza wengi. Mm. It is good for the people. It is good for our democracy. Wewe unasema kuzungumza wewe unapenda siasa safi. Mm. Eh melodi tukija alikuwa ananiuliza ah super senator walisikizana na mama bishop eh hey. maana hey. sasa ni kivumbi hey. hata hapo kwenu Kenya kwanza Nairobi ni kivumbi hey. mama hey. mama hey. bishop anataka wewe hey. unataka hey. na wengine pia watataka na dati lile nikaonekana ikitoka nje unakumbuka kuna eh, kuna 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 ile kuvuta kuvute ndio lakini kama mlitazama vizuri hmm. kama mliniona mimi ndipo nimetulia hmm. kwa sababu bishop ni mama ambaye namheshimu Um, watoto wake ni rika yangu. Mwana ndugu yangu Kiwan na ndugu yake. Siwezi kuzomeana na yeye. Okay. Siwezi kwanza kubishana. Na kama kuna jambo lilimkasirisha hata ukiangalia clip kwa sababu alikuwa anazungumza na I think akazungumza zaidi. Kuna vijana ambao walikuwa wanataka awache sasa akome. Na mimi nikawasomea kambi hapana msifanye hivyo mnanikosea heshima. Yeye mm-hmm. akafikiria mimi nimempangia. Ah mimi sifanyangi siasa kama hiyo. Hata kupangia hati mtu kuja hati kupigiwa kelele. Because tulitoka hapo tulikuwa City Park tukaenda Kigogoro tukaenda by the time to end the six stops wako na kweli hizi kupanga ni wananchi tu kwa ujumla wanataka super senator sio wewe kupanga unajua mm. so nikamuomba msamaha ngambia pole kama umekasirika but that is not how i do it na siezi anza ku shout nilitulia i was calm mm. because i have learned to be a gentleman mama yangu alinifunza vizuri mm. you never argue in public especially na mtu ambaye ni amekushinda na miaka na ni mama unajua mm. so kama ni eh, eh, nomination tutaenda tutaambia wanachama wa Kenya kwanza mm-hmm. mimi naitwa super senator Sakaja mtoto wenu nasimama kikeo governor mlichagua yeye aseme ni bishop achagulia ama kuna pia kuna mwingine anaitwa Kiu nasikia hapo kwa, kwa UDA mm-hmm. wataamua nani mm-hmm. ambao watachagua hata zaidi ya hapo unajua mimi ni wachaguliwa na Nairobi na kura 840000 rais huru Kenyatta alikuwa na 700000 mimi safuti kura ya Kenya kwanza peke yake kura ya UDA mnaitaka kura ya wipe naitaka. Nikitembea naombea watu hapa siku na watu wazimio ndio. Kuna watu hapa wa Kenya kwanza ndio. Kuna watu wa wipe ndio. Kama ni ngapi ni mingi. Governor ni mmoja. Mm-hmm. Not an issue. Mm-hmm. It is na non issue completely na sio style yangu. Yangu ni siasa safi. Mm-hmm. Tukimalizia tu sasa tumezungumzia masuala ya miungano. Eh. Eh wewe mwenyewe umemtaja Mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka. Ndio. Hii hi miungano hizi mikataba ambayo yenyewe usain mm. kuna utapeli ndani. Unajua kuna utapeli mwingi sana. Juu sasa tunatumesema mnaenda mnakaa usiku lakini mchana tunajua ile mkoa mnaongea. Unajua a true agreement si ile imeandikwa. Hmm. A true agreement ni ile mtu ambao unamwamini. In fact jamii jamii wa Somali nawapenda sana kwa sababu hawaandiki nangi contract. Hakuna contract. It is my word. Mimi nimesema hivi. Hmm. Ndio maana hii money transfer hiyo inafanya kazi. Inaupatia hapa 1000 wewe ndio uchukue huko Mandela amo chukue US US si ati inatumwa <coughs> ni ile tu the word your word is your bond na lazima tu una viongozi waaminifu uangalie kama kuna kiongozi ametapeli watu miaka hii yote atakuwa waaminifu leo aje unajua so for them i mean pole kwake eh niliona he was crying over spilled beans unajua mambo ishapita kama umechezo umechezo ukichengwa kubali <coughs> lakini sasa wewe anza kulia tu kwanza anza na hiyo na the same thing naambia msaidi ya mdawa ati uhuru na ruto walikuja wakasema huko rais eh 2013 mm. mambo yakabadilika na nisi tulibadilisha tulikataa wanachama mm. sio uhuru alimruka 
Sio wenyewe tunisema hapana. Si tuko TNA, tunataka rais wetu awe huru Kenyatta. Tukaenda multimedia university ndo akasema sio sio nini nikatokea. But unajua the true agreement hata na wewe na rafiki yako ama kwa biashara must be an agreement of the heart of trust. So no matter kusema hii political parties act ambayo ilikuwa inaletwa ilileta uvumbi mwingi kulikuwa na drama. Mimi niombea watu mbona mnapinga mnapinga sheria. Because hakuna sheria ambayo itafanya mtu aache kuwa mtapeli kama ni mtapeli. Na hakuna sheria kama ni mbaya itakuwa mbaya kwa chama moja tu. So if it is good for one party it is good for the other party. Mm. Na nikwambia vile 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 mnafanya sheria mfanye azimio. Hiyo sheria bado ndio itatumiwa na wale wanataka kufanya Kenya kwanza. So that is it. Ultimately to watu waaminifu mm. na tuaminiane. Mm. Kama kiongozi hawezi muamini kiongozi mwingine mm. ama kama kiongozi anaweza mcheza kiongozi mwenzake mm. what about mwananchi? Mm. Yeah. Wakati ule ama siku za za hapo nyuma kidogo mlikuwa mm. mmesimama sana na Msalem Davadi tukisubiri tu mm. kwamba atakuwa endorse kama mwanaji wa urais katika taifa hili yeah. bado nafasi ni hiyo hiyo bado Msalem Davadi atasimama kama rais licha ya kuingia kwenye huo muungano mwingine vitu vichenja anga hiyo ndo sisi usema mm. things change anaweza simama unajua kuna dynamics ya siasa unaweza pata inaweza fika wakati ile mtu aone ai hawa wamenifinya sana na mimi nimekuwa unajua hata kwa mpira E, unaweza pata huyu Ronaldo amekuwa marked sana. Sema sawa acha nipewe mwingine ndo afunge pao. Because kila mtu ameni mark, kila mtu ako juu yangu acha nipatie mwingine. So what is the right position? Inaweza kuwa ni yeye, inaweza kuwa ni William Ruto, William Ruto kwa sasa ndio yuko mbele. Inaweza kuwa ni yeye. For us we saying we want a team. Eh? Tunataka team, not an individual. Tunataka kufanya billboard, si billboard ya mtu mmoja au wawili, but ni billboard inaonesha Kenya mzima of five, ten people. Tuseme this is the team we are bringing to you as Kenyans. Kuna wazee, kuna vijana kuna kila mama unajua kuna kila mtu so msale bado you know he's ali, alikuwa endorsed kwa NC as a presidential candidate na kapatiwa haki ya kwenda ku negotiate na hiyo ndio negotiation anafanya ametumwa watu wake kutoka NC kuna watu wametumwa kutoka UDA for Kenya weta pia yuko ultimately there will be a candidate for now inakani kama itakuwa Ruto i must say the truth but it is very likely it could be you know it can change okay yeah, yeah. asante for sure you can trust that coalition do mm. ushasikia kitu kana mtu Ushasikia ta na amekuwa tangu 1989 kwa siasa. Si ati ajui matusi. Si ati ajui kwa serika. Mm. Hata kuna upole, utulivu na anaangalia mambo ya uchumi. Hii ndio reminds me of president Kibaki. Na ni mtu na pale tumefika na uchumi yetu na madeni na shida bila pesa mfukoni. We need somebody like that in government. Ambaye atatuliza siasa, atuliza maneno, aregeshe uchumi urudi vile inafaa kwa kwa line. And that is what it is. Kwa hivi sasa wewe sasa campaign tu nikangoja nominations wewe unaonaje kwa mfano ikifika nomination alafu hmm. mrengo wako waseme wewe governor wewe hapana what will happen hiyo hiyo is gani bana hiyo to practical unajua for now Ile, for now unaona positive ni wewe for now na kuonyenyekevu yes um na hii nashukuru watu wa Nairobi yeah ukiangalia utafiti wote ambao umefanywa by all polling companies. Mm. Ada zile ambazo zinaegemea pande nyingine ya siasa mm. niko mbele kwa sasa. Okay. Uh, at almost 28%. Bila ni vote kwa maybe 15. Um, na wengine wako nyuma. Um, labda itabadilika mm. iwe 30, 35, 40. Ipande juu. Yako sasa. Watu unajua wanakujua. Mm. Kwa sasa niko mbele sioni si eh, njia nitashindwa. Mm. Unless nifanye tu blanda kubwa mahali. Mm. Kwa sasa na kunyenyekevu na nafurahia. Lakini wananchi wataamua ultimately. Siwezi kujilazimisha kwa wananchi wataji watajamulia wenyewe na ni wamrengo yote wanasema ai mm. sisi sisi ni watu ya baba lakini tunapenda sakani mm. ama sisi ni watu wa azimio i mean watu wa kalonzo but tuko na wewe ni baraka ya Mungu it's a blessing from God ana nashukuru kabisa na watu wa Nairobi asante kabisa asante nafikiri wewe kuna siku tunasema let's make Nairobi work hiyo uh-huh. ndio slogan uh, tutakuita tu siku tuende tuzungumze yes. tupange tu sasa siku ya kuja mm. ya kutuambia tatufanyie nini kama wanairobi kabisa mm. na hiyo ni siasa za nchi na hiyo let's make Nairobi work yeah. kama unafungua tap yako unaenda maji Nairobi is not working kama unaamsha mtoto wako saa 10 asubuhi ndo afike shule it is not working mm. kama kuna biashara uko na license 13 na leo kaanza wanakuja kesho ni KRA kesho ni GSU it is not working let's make Nairobi work hakuna majishi yanatakuja ati mimi ndio governor mimi nitatatua kila kitu peke yangu hapana we must use the best of our people of Nairobi jua sisi ndo tunajua shida zetu mm-hmm. so tunataka facilitate ambaye atasikiza kila mtu ambaye anaweza link kutoka kitongo duni hadi kule juu for us to together do it na mimi naambia watu wote wa Nairobi despite your party despite your affiliation 
mimi niko tayari kufanya kazi na watu wote mm-hmm. wa Nairobi mm-hmm. for us to make it work ourselves 21st century global capital hapo si katika kuomba kura huko jamani nitaomba kule mbele eh umeomba sana na ni introduction ni intro, introduction nitamuita nadhani anasema pia angependa kuja na wenzake tupanga huo mchakato na nikitembea watu wa Radio City wananisikiza mara nyingi nikiona wanasema salimia atea salimia coach salimia melody please unisalimie pale pale usiogope mr mbaga na mabodyguards juu na manini come directly to me talk to me 